Greetings, Commandos. This is Pagan Horde, and we're looking at 80 in our beautiful Stackpool Cruise Misadventure. Now, if you would please do some YouTube stuff, that would be awesome, and we can keep on going. So, what do we got? Well, a few days passed since our uh, beautiful adventure and the super heavy charging maniacs. Uh, what I did is I just moved about uh, a month forward and did the um, an easy flashpoint. In, for the purpose of it is to get rid of the easy flashpoint so that uh, more interesting ones could appear. And lo and behold, as soon as I finished this flashpoint, which was test drive, uh, this one appeared. Now, this is one that I've been uh, suggested to do some, for some time, both because it's an interesting, challenging one, and because this could give us some interesting battle armor. So... Bonus reward, a box with the eagle symbol. That should be interesting. So we're going to do that. Uh, the tr during the traveling time, we might have enough time to rebuild of our, me of our mechs as well. So that's the plan. Let's go do some heretical stuff with for a box with an eagle symbol. Let's go. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. Now the Uber will be ready to build. Sure. The Uber is ready in one day. Maybe I won't rebuild the Nova Cat right away, but the Uber I sure will. And there we go. There we go, I said. Thank you. Alright, so we have a wee bit of rebuilding to do. Because, uh, yeah. A lot of people gotta hit hard. I think the Burnt is mostly good. It's just a weapon that got a critical. There we go. Burnt is fine. Almost lost an arm, but keyword is almost. Our Thunderhawk. Our Thunderhawk is working, but I'm gonna give up on the risk Gauss. It's critting itself way, way, way too much. It's not working out for me. Now, it's supposed to be critting like 8% time, but it's doing it 1 out of 3. Um... One of the comments commenters on uh, YouTube suggested that maybe it's doing a percentage per shot. And because it's doing times six, that's where it's happening. That would make a lot more sense in terms of uh, why it's quitting itself so much. But it's not working out. So. We're gonna go. Now, the problem is, I only have one heavy gauss. That I cannot use in you, sadly. Uh huh. So, we only have one heavy gauss, and I don't have Hag 40 or stuff like that that could be similar. So, we're gonna have to rethink this guy completely. If we don't do the heavy gauss stuff. And we rethink you completely. What should we be doing? What is the affinity of the Thunderhawk? I'm gonna go back. I just wanna make sure. Before we do anything else. Long range and extreme range. It's a sniper. So it doesn't have... To be big guns, although it was a quite a good idea to build gu big guns for you. If we try to rethink you, and we keep in mind that we want to keep uh, some of these weapons ready for the Daka boat, the Uber Jagger that we're gonna build. What we can maybe do is try an Ultra AC-10 build. Something like that. A pure autocannon build. Hmm. Because with your, your sniper quirk... That has affinity at long and extreme range, plus the vehicular DNI, affinities at long and extreme range. 
it will almost completely negate the extreme range penalties. I'm just gonna have a heat problem with that, eh? 67 heat. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to remove some of the lasers. 14 now. We're gonna need ammo. And we're gonna have to deal with re a lot of recoil. But it could be a thing. It could definitely be a thing. We do have an one upper recoil. Uh, I would love to keep it for the Uber, but... We have one weapon mount recoil. Yoinks. What else do we got? Hmm. Do we have the nano damper fluid? Nano damper thingy? I don't think so. Ah, it's over here. Right. We do have this. Can I put it on the 20? No. Alright, if I do this instead. If I put the two tens here. With the weapon mount recoil. And then I would put the 20 here with the nano damper fluid, which will reduce the recoil by two. In the perfect world, I would have a turret mount that I would add here. But this could do it. We just need enough ammo for all that shenanigans. Now, I know that this mech doesn't have a uh, auto cannon affinities but i think the sniper affinities with the vehicular deny and the sensor tracker will allow some very good long range accuracy to totally uh reduce our the, the reduce or completely the, negate the long range or extreme range uh, malice so this could work if we have enough ammo for it I mean, we need two of that. Twenty-five. I know it's putting all the ammo in the same spot, but that's probably because I want to put a perfect, a beautiful case there. Like this. Now we're probably going to need some heat efficiency. Not a lot of room for a heat sink, but I can upgrade the internal to this. Yoinks. I can put one more somewhere like in the leg. And suddenly we have something viable. I mean, I really, really, ha. Huh. Let's give it to you. Let's give it to you. There you go. We're going to figure something out with the Uber Jagger. I mean, this, this could work. What is the problem here? Light Pharaoh is not considered a clan armor. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. One slot. Interesting. That's five slots. 
That is seven. Okay. How much weight are we saving with this? Six percent. It's not a lot. All right, well, let's just put a different case. If it's not heavier, it's gonna work. It is heavier. But we can just do a wee bit of that. And that should be fine. All right, so I think this could work. I mean, it's nothing special, really, but could be some great deck, huh? Right. Okay, next up, the Zeus. The Zeus, remind me what kind of damage you took. Ah, just lost BC range through, uh, through armor critical, because of course you did. I have one more and that's all I got. Don't lose it again. Catapult, the catapult got splatted, so uh, it's probably gonna need a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo the engine. What do we got for you? 300, is that enough for your movement? It is actually for 6.4. If we up it up through a 335. 7.4. Okay, okay. You're maybe going to be a bit costly to rebuild, but I do want my catapult. The heat sink kit got blasted. Okay. What else? That's it. Just the weapon system, which I believe I have. I even saved a wee bit of weight then. Okay, uh, which we can use with I have Typhon ammo for battle armor, which Ugh. Really Typhon for battle armor Another bin of dead fire The AR-14 is just amazing you have the C3I. How's your heat efficiency? Just fine. No, you already have the Camille on NPS. What I'm thinking? What am I thinking? All right, so you don't really need anything special at the moment. Uh, could give you an AMS. Uh, uh, uh. How about just a regular one? half then reduce this a wee bit okay you got an AMS oh, what's that that's all good tactic support sure okay that's the pult but now, now comes uh, the big one. Hello, you. All right, so I went back and we watched uh, my own old video from last uh, last season, last year, on how I built this guy. Because I wanted to remember what exactly the engine that I put in it. Because it was surprisingly fast, if I remember correctly. So let's have a look. What engines do I have available now? 
390 or 400. I think it was a 375 that I put last time. Let's do a quick look at the... Oh, I don't have a store because we are in motion, right. All right, well, let's try to build you... Uh, let's try to build you right now and see what happens. If we give you a 400, you're probably going to be fast enough. I mean, you can always downsize it after. I don't think it's worth going for the triple X. Because of the uh, additional 18 heat per turn. How much weight would I be saving? It's 43 with that. Well, maybe, actually. Maybe. Okay. Okay, let's go for like this for now. I have composite. And I have endo steel. Armor, I can put whichever I want I want, I think. Let's go lamellar. If we max armor you, that would leave you with 42 of weapon which is not that much if i go feral fibrous that's 51 yeah 51 it is i believe i have a super heavy gyro double xl as well now we have 57 of weight weapon space i'm absolutely gonna give you this to increase your walking speed the advanced zoom. So that should give you a really fast Uber Jagger. We're gonna have to watch the heat with the double XL engine, but 57 ton of weapons. So if you've never seen an Uber Jagger, and you know, the reason I wanted it so badly is this. 2% increase critical chance with ballistic. Plus 2 accuracy with ballistic. 15% increase, increase ballistic range. Minus 50 uh, minimum range, minus 2 recoil, minus 20 multiplier to jam chance. But there is a minus 25% sensor range. It has a 1% chance failure like uh, any other type of uh, neural implants, and we need neural implants pilots. But with all the added shenanigans, you can do redonkulous builds with this. Uh, last year we had the Brut, which is no longer available, it's no longer a thing, sadly. But let's see what we can do. I'm going to go with Rack 5 Risks to start. To start. I'm em emphasis on to start. Because that thing has an optimal range of, of 320, which is a bit low. However, we have a 15% increase range. So you're going to have the same range as an LRM with or Rack 5 Clan with those Risks. And those risks are 40 damage a pop. Which means up to 480 damage already. And you can see when this is gonna go. Now, let's do the ammo and everything first before we move on to more ridiculous things. Because if you know me by now, I'm gonna be the one, the kind of guy to add too much weapons before trying to figure out how to make them work so 50 shots of this all right all right all right all right let's start with two doubles that's 100 shot now we're probably not gonna crank it up to six every turn i think i might but we're gonna try it with 100 shot to start. I'm gonna all right. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the prototype plus. You're gonna get all the good stuff, that's for sure. And why is that way something? Why does the heat sink weigh something? If I put this, it wasn't weigh anything. If I put this, it weighs three tons. Huh. 
Okay, well, we're gonna still gonna go for that for now to compensate for the uh, Gen Double XL, but I'm. Eh? What? Next. I mean, it's gonna probably gonna be more rack, right? Regular racks, ultras. Right, it's only one per. Okay. One per arm. There's room for more on this side. Okay. Options. Options would probably be this. I mean, I have to. I, I have to. I don't have turret mounts, sadly. We're gonna have to uh, rely on the innate accuracy of the ballistic. In a perfect world, I'd have upper recall for both of these and turret mounts for both of these. In a perfect world. But just firing this bad boy just as it is right now will just be funny. Because that's a potential 180 damage. So 360 for both of these. And that's 480 for both of these. So we're on we're the 840, if my math is correct, if my math is mathing. 800 ballistic damage. I mean, that should do the trick for most of the time, right? Right, so to give it ammo. Two. And with the rack five, I have options. Like incendiary and others. Could give it a flag for airborne. Like one bin of double. One of flak and two of precision. Just because I care. That, in and of itself, would always almost be a mech right here. Now, you don't have great sensor range. And we're going to have to give you sensor stuff, that's for sure. I don't have an ECM available right now. And that's on me. I would have loved to have an ECM. We're going to have to find the, one of those. So, we're gonna need a defense ECM. But just just as it is now, it's just funny. How is it gonna be on the heat when we crank it all up? Probably not enough. So for now, the smart thing to do would be to just this. I mean, this isn't perfect. I know, I know. This isn't optimized. This is just... Making a redonkulous DACA with what I have. Perfect wall would be turret mounts, would be upper recoil, would be uh, ECM. Probably downgrade a wee bit of the firepower for just perfect accuracy. Like going for a triple ultra 5 instead of this. But for now, this will be just a fun... Daka that will cost us 9 million. But here we are. And if we ever find a 375, 380 engine, we're gonna try uh, how it improved the movement. Because he's, he is 5'4 right now, but we do have this on top. Plus 25% walking speed. So uh, we'll see how that interacts. I remember my, my Ubers being quite fast, even for their weight. But I, I think I did it with a 375 or 380 engine. I just need to tweak that a little bit as well. To be its final form. Final form would probably be a 380 or 75 engine. And the uh, correct uh, accuracy bonuses. 
So there you go. That's gonna cost us 9 million sea bills. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is why Uber Jaggers are cool. You can do so the most redonkulous and up to a thousand damage Alpha Strike build with these things. If you introduce like something like Pirate Racks, it becomes even more redonkulous. Like you can make a twin pirate rack 20 pirate with this thing and go over a thousand alpha strike damage 1200 even sure it's short range and all but it's possible all right so that's gonna be that for now we have our work in progress and we're gonna do be showing some air attack so that is an it's gonna be a fun episode i think The Nova is now repaired, but that's another big can of worms. I don't think I have all the stuff to repair it as it was. And now we're bleeding money. We've bled out a good 20 million sea bills in three episodes by building this and doing super heavy missions. Let's uh, take a quick look at the Nova. It, I don't know if I'll redo it, because that's... We lost a lot on that one. <sighs> well, the side that blew up, it was the side with the NHL MML7 at least, not with the Rack 2. Uh, okay, I do have another Rack 5, one last Rack 5 available, maybe I can actually rebuild you, alright, maybe I can, we're gonna need this, We're gonna need this. And something, something handheld. Uh, I don't have a plus one to put in there, though, because you have a small engine ish. Your Guardian ECM is also destroyed. So we're, we are truly bleeding out in Guardian ECM. You had a long range, which I also cannot. Uh, I can give you a gunnery, which should compensate. So you should be fine. What kind of other handheld weapon can I give you? I don't have another handheld to give you. Oof. Running out of everything. So you would clearly not be as strong as you're supposed to be. But I can get you back out there. I suppose I could give you... Some emotional support weapons uh, uh, while you do that. Like a narc launcher. Uh, where's the ammo for the narc? In etc. Or that one ah I mean I can give you a narc explosive for the shit and giggles all right so you will still be imperfect but uh, it will get you back in the field I can put both of these to finish the weight I mean, the build of this guy is... The, the, the What we've always wanted to do is to have twin rack 2 and twin rack 5. The other arm, we're having a, another handheld. But we lost that handheld. 
And for the moment, I cannot replace it. And that means losing your supercharger as well, but... With that, you would still be in the field. Imperfect as you are. Alright. So I understand that some of the build here I did, I did was not uh, perfect, but uh, it's it's all about doing what, what uh, we have available. All right, so on to Aerotech. Let's see what we will have. Now, I admit I haven't done this Flashpoint in years. Last time it was way, way in previous seasons, so I can I don't remember exactly how it goes. So we're gonna find out. It's not consecutive deployment. It's a long one. Let's begin. Thank the cosmos you have arrived. You are we are currently locked in battle with unidentified unit screaming for the glory of the Emperor at us. Uh-huh. We need your help. Maybe Curitan rebels. Probably. We thought that at first, but the power armor and tanks have an unknown make. And we have yet to see any mechs on the field. Uh-huh. We need you to front an assault against these intruders. Is that like a table top? Yes, it is. I would laugh if the situation was in dire. We need you to ambush a convoy quickly. The information may give us further insight into what we are fighting. Yeah, I hear you, Darius. These don't have any over vehicle that from what we've seen. Why do we always find the odd thing in the universe? Mm hmm. Right, so, this being an old school flashpoint, we're going to be limited to four units. Which can be intense if you are doing, you know, rogue tech stuff. Being limited to just one lance. Because that means these guys are not going to be limited by that. Especially if they have support lance and all. I understand that these... Um, these flashpoints are a limited scenario that are handcrafted, but if, if they've been handcrafted four or five years ago, and there's been four or five years of change to rogue tech since then, they can be uh, rough. For example, the test drive that I just did was created before size delta, and it shows. I mean, it, you, you, they were supposed to be easy missions, but they drop when they drop you with eighty tonners against forty tonners, but. They're actually not anymore. Alright, so we have to ambush a convoy. Uh huh. So, what do we do? I mean, let's bring out the mortar, because uh, we can lay down mines, acid mines everywhere, and that could be helpful. Let's bring the burnt for a uh, general dyno machine. Let's bring the set of VTOL for the mother of all bomb shenanigans. And what else? The Anu would be fine. Eh, let's bring the good old Nova and Braver again. Because, you know, he's just back from the ICU after playing uh, MacWarrior 5 Clan. He's ready for, uh, for more action. Let's do that, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so I haven't done this Flashpoint in quite a few years. And I remember it being not easy. And... Older Flashpoint can be uh, sometimes even more difficult because a lot of things happen in Rogue Tech okay. since then. Here we go. Flashpoints are essentially handcrafted scenarios, but they were handcrafted scenarios built with the rule of uh, when Rogue Tech a few years ago. Like, this Flashpoint was created before Size Delta, or when before Evasion got nerfed, or take your pick. 
Dude, it can be much, much more difficult. On the move. As time goes on. Alright, so... Uh, this is the vanilla starting point of this uh, old school map. Uh, if, if memory serves, that means the um, convoy will be here, moving toward that. Okay. And the additional enemies will be on top of that hill. Yes, Commander. Now, the set risk here with the mother of all bomb will be our ace in the hole if I can blow the convoy in one fell swoop I definitely will all right so uh, here we see a bandit as part of the convoy that's dangerous because bandits as we've been using them are very fast especially amongst among a road and then uh, there's yeah that's the 40k stuff Hunter killer missiles, heavy bolters, auto cannons, sniper, las cannon. I don't remember what these things does. But we'll find out. Ready for orders. We did go for maximum salvage, so we're gonna try to uh, get some of these weapons and see what they do. That is our plan for today. Oh. Right from the get-go, ignoring our 11 evasion and stealth to deliver a through armor critical. That's the kind of shenanigans up, that I was fearing, exactly. Alright, so let's lay down some mines. That should, maybe, sort of, will help. Now, what I'm doing is going up that road, because um, assuming these guys are fast, I'm going to have a better chance of catching them here in the open than crossing through the forest here. I won't by, by the time I get here, they'll be long gone. So that's why right now I'm sticking to the road, even if that's not great cover. Okay. There you go. These guys are already moving fast. The mines are working, though. Alright, so... Uh, these hunter-killer missile one-shot... They were probably the source of the uh, internal damage. Probably. So, if those are fired... Should be sort of maybe okay. I'm gonna keep playing the mind game and I'm gonna attempt to blow them all up with the mother of all bomb. That's my haze in the hole. If not, I'll attempt to catch them at the crossroad. So that's why right now I'm not firing or not engaging. I'm uh, trying to lay down the ambush right here. Okay, a jet booster breaking uh, right now is bad because that will limit your speed a lot. But at least I'm near the objective. And now I have a cluster of enemies that I can mother of our bomb. Alright, so if I can explode the all of these guys with our bomber. Right, that's another through armor critical from one of their laser weapon. If that's true, that means they have four chances of internal damage every time. That is no good. Let's see how this goes. So I'm going to target the one in the middle. A mother of all bomb, it doesn't matter if it misses, if it just lands near it. It'll do the job. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Enemy down. Okay, but now we have reinforcements over here. Alright, I'm going to start to fight here. And uh, basically, I'm just going to try to finish that one and run with the set. I'm not going to try and face down these fours. Yeah, bad hit chances and everything. 
It's not great. Let's try and put some beacon. There you go. Beacon is gonna help. Beacon, and then let's Orion him. Ah, there you go. Look at those green numbers. You'll have been Orion, sir. I think that's how I'm gonna be able to get them. And now I'm tempted to keep the, uh, the Narc Launcher. Because that is useful. That shit is useful. So 17%, even from a direct shot. Let's go Guided. For a whopping 25. Yeah, there wasn't a size Delta plus 3, for example, when this Flashpoint was created. That's why I can consider them uh, sometimes harder than they were originally intended for. Okay, a wee bit of burn damage on you, sir. I'll take it. Come on, people, let's make it happen. All right, I'll keep engaging on this side. Let's hit them hard. Aye, aye. You will try to move away from these guys and just maybe wrap up this guy. That would be amazing. 79 on the streak. Yes, sir. Okay. I can confidently say that without the, our bomber, this mission would have been in really problematic. And even then, I'm taking massive damage now. And this flyer is far from danger from those true armor. But I have a fighting chance now. So I'll put the Narc Launcher on top. Damn it, I'm now tempted to keep it. Because it makes a big difference. Especially the Risk one that can fire two. It's amazing. Ah, oh, another, another through armor critical. This could be... Ooh! Still alive. Still alive. Okay, not dead yet. I would be unsettled too on that one. I, uh, I get you. I got you. Alright, so essentially I'm gonna take the risk and run. Then I will attempt to dismantle them one by one without taking internal damage or losses. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the big one. Alright, now your job is to run. Let's take a shot at that one while we're moving and not hit anything. Okay, okay, okay. That's how it goes. Roger. Oh, I got some beautiful 80s numbers. Let's go for a back shot. All right. The accuracy of the Ryan pulls through again. Okay. I don't know at this point if it's the unit from the flashpoint or is it their weapon that causes internal damage? That's uh, a known factor. Well, I'm gonna keep hitting them from range. Come on, hit. All right. Hey, okay. Right now, I have the possibility to go. 
Cause I these through armor criticals, man. I'm not fond of it. And I'm not fond of charging up that hill and trying to fire at these things through the forest. Order. So I'm thinking of running. We'll see how it goes. I mean... If we can get a clear shot on the way. Like, if this predator comes down here. It might change my mind. But for now, I'm inkling toward getting out of here. Yeah, the predators are the problem, I think. I'm not familiar enough with the, uh, the whammer lore to know what that means, but I can fire my mortar. I'm still alive. Sniper artillery, okay, okay, okay. I'm losing lots of armor. Damn, let's do this. Well, I did put all my money in salvage on this one. If and if we run, we won't be able to take advantage of that. But at the same time, it's better than taking all of those internal damage. Because something's gonna pop eventually, taking all of that damage. Mark attached. Standing by. Good to go. Smoothius. Going full throttle. Roger that. I mean we're Show me. we're doing damage. We're doing damage. Bye. Just gonna be careful with my set risk. Okay, no through armor critical on that. Actually taking damage from uh, artillery. Hey, I'm losing armor over here. Oh, they don't like me at all. Okay, okay. I'm gonna reserve with the set because I don't want to put it in danger. But I think I can push through and get those guys. Yeah, I think I can. Goodbye to you, sir. You've been Orioned. Boat beacon missed. Ah. Uh, I was out of normal ammo. Clicked too fast. Alright, maybe I can afford... To send you in for one shot. Come on, people, let's make it happen. Okay, no through armor here. Maybe it was just the uh, the missiles. Maybe. Okay, that's just sniper. Maybe we can do this. Maybe we can uh, punch through all of them. Let's see. On my way. That's 0 0.9, that's 13, and that's a whooping 37. Oh, yeah. Ready. Let's see. If I punch through with the Nova, reasonable hit chance there. Reasonable hit chance there in the back. Let's take it. And that's a narc. I'm more afraid of these predators than the sniper one. We got the narc attached, so now uh, life is good. You know, I put that narc there just because I wanted to put something on the Nova, but... Huh. This is pretty sweet. If I, uh, if I don't keep it on the... Nova, I'm certainly gonna try and fit it somewhere else. Because this is working. Okay, 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 we're handling it. 
No other weird critical. Mm, do we actually have a chance? Not really. Okay. Shape charge. Go. Let's get this done, Commander. Starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And it looks like a tank explosion. Ammo chemical large. So these weapons are using chemical ammo. It's good to know. Those are good hits. And uh, finished by the Orion. Let's send Sulak just to be sure. Okay. You've been Orion. But this was much closer than it looked. I mean, one wrong through armor critical and we could have had big explody. So, yes, this is what I mean by these missions being... Don't take them lightly. Don't take them lightly. And I'll see you in a moment. All right, so we went full salvage with this one and very little money, even though we're bleeding cash, but it's because I wanted to see those new stuff. There we go, plenty of a true armor. Okay, but we made it out without losing anything. The Orion was very deadly. One, two, three, four, five for you and five for the Seth. Not too shabby. Okay, so let's take a look at these things. Auto cannon, heavy bolter, sniper artillery. Some of these predator, four last cannon, heavy bolter, hunter killer, one shot. What is a heavy bolter? It's an Omnisaya autogun. It's four tons. Similar to the auto cannon, but trading weight for range. It's a rack 2, essentially, with only 4 tons, but optimal range of 180. Oof. But what about the last cannon? 2 tons for 300 range. And we get to punch through armor similar to a Gauss rifle. So this is what this is what was doing through armor critical. It was those last cannon. It's not very good damage, but as we've seen, enough of them will hurt you through the armor. Those heavy bolter they would be wonderful for backstabbers. Not running any of those at the moment. We're all doing the long range uh, end game stuff. The tank itself, it's all right. But I think I'm just gonna take uh, these last cannon from the Omnisaya. I mean, I could do a pew pew build of uh, through armor critical. Uh, you add critical chance to something and you just go nuts. So that's my choice. Uh, bandit Overcraft, we're gonna keep those parts because uh, we keep losing bandits here by some time to time, so I'm gonna keep those. The tanks, we're good. The auto cannon, right? There was another thing. Times 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 f 10 times 4, plus 1 accuracy, range of 240. It's a Mydron, essentially. Uses Ultra 10 ammo. That's not good. Unless it's 10 times 4 times 2. If it's being an ultra cannon. Eh, no that. Alright, so that one is the one that... Um, plus 1 evasion. 5 structural, yeah. 25 damage internal. It's a one shot. Well, it seems to be similar to Thunderbolt mission. Mission this uh, for a sophisticated shaped charge warhead with advanced guidance. I'm gonna keep that. Keeping the last gun and the ammo. 
Sniper, I don't care. Ultra 10 ammo, that could be useful, but I'm good. Alright, so this was the first one of the uh, Aerotech Flashpoint. It was not easy, and I don't expect it to get easier, so I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so long repels ahead. Oh, that's a lot. And uh, we're far from done. Okay, 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 okay. But this is not a consecutive deployment, so... I can afford to do that. Oh. I guess I clicked on something. Come on. Let's take a quick look here. Torvi. I'm good. Before we go on for more. And held rack two. Finally. It took us 40, 50 episodes. But I have another one. Okay, we can complete the Nova, finally. That's good news. The full DACA will be on. Tsunami Gauss Rifle. Damage five, only five. Okay. Weapon mount accuracy. All right, so good news. We can finally, after 40 episodes, finish the Nova Cat. Marvelous. But I think that'll be it for this one, guys, because I'm already almost an hour into it with all the builds. And uh, that flashpoint is far from done. So uh, we're going to make this a two-parter. And so thank you for watching. Thank you for watching until the end. If you would please do some YouTube stuff before you go, it would help a small channel like this one. And next up, well, we'll see what other shenanigans the Aerotech Flashpoint has in store for us. See you next time.